Maybe I'm a little bit over makeup today <laughs> for this occasion. But that's just what we have to live with now. <laughs> Well, hello everyone. I swear we have not gathered here today to perform some kind of satanic ritual. Even though I might look like it. <laughs> We're here to test some more TikTok food recipes, trends, products, hacks. Because I have some really, really cool stuff on my list once again. I don't think I've ever been that excited about the products and recipes I'm gonna be trying in a video. Do you want to me? I got a recipe. <laughs> When you watch this, it's probably not that hot outside anymore, not that summery anymore. But right now, as I'm filming this, it's piping hot. So I feel severely dehydrated and I really, really need to get something hydrating into my body. Which is why we're gonna make this. This is a Korean fruit bowl, also called huache. And I've seen this so, so many times on my For You page. It is, first of all, it's pink, which is already a plus for me and it looks so refreshing and so so yummy and when i heard what the ingredients were i was like okay that's unconventional but that makes me want to try it obviously let's make some huache this is my bowl it's actually for lasagna but not right now i mean obviously you can basically put anything in there any fruit that you like i'm gonna make the version that i saw on tiktok or at least a close version of it <laughs> watermelon obviously a fresh watermelon would be better but i just i just never can finish them because i'm the only one in this household that actually eats watermelon i'm just Throw it in there. amazing i'm gonna take some peaches i got my peaches out in georgia a banana i have a super small one which is perfect for this I saw someone actually put like pink jelly in there. I didn't have time to go to the Asian supermarket, so I just got rote Gewitze. <laughs> I don't even know how you would define this. What even is rote Gewitze? Is it like jello? It is pink. It has a little bit of texture, maybe even. I was only able to buy the rote Gewitze with the vanilla sauce, the custard. It's not like I'm mad. <laughs> kind of good kind of a good consistency it just looks so wrong actually it looks kind of right okay now let's get to the sauce in this case it's important that it's strawberry milk because we want it to be pink oh that is not so pink and now the last and maybe most controversial ingredient sprite this is what we're gonna have to put in there it's bubbling mine is not as pink as uh, hers I guess that's just uh, strawberry milk in Germany. Oh, I almost forgot ice cubes. But I like the sound. Here it is. Um, it doesn't really look good. A little bit of everything. I got some banana, some watermelon, some peach. I don't know how to feel about the fizziness in there. It kind of makes it a little bitter even. I don't know guys, but the strawberry milk is really good. But I have to say, it's definitely super refreshing. Let me just drink the soup. I think if the Sprite didn't have any fizziness in it, I think that would be totally fine. Maybe just squeeze a lemon in there or something to give it that fresh feeling. Because honestly, the fizziness ain't it. But I do like the taste of it. I also love the strawberry milk. I could finish this whole bowl. It's really good. The rote grütze is literally the best ingredient in there. Like this. I think I would actually make this again just with lemon instead of Sprite. Oh boy! Yeah, your fruit bowl. Is that my lemon? Oh yeah. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Don't say it tastes like melon. You didn't have any on your spoon. That is the artificial strawberry milk, not the melon. Mm. Peach. Yes. Now that we had a great, refreshing, rehydrating breakfast, let's have some lunch. Blah, 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 blah. I almost feel bad saying it, but I found another hack using shin ramyun. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay guys? I swear this will be the last time. 
I don't think this will be the last time. So I found this video. It is basically a mixture of mac and cheese, like box mac and cheese and shin ramen. Honestly, guys, there is no way this isn't gonna be absolutely, completely, miraculously yummy. <laughs> My thing is, I don't really like mac and cheese, or at least I don't get it. Even homemade mac and cheese, I just don't understand. It always tastes kind of bland to me, the cheese in it. I just don't like this cheese sauce I love cheese but this cheese sauce is just not giving so I'm hoping by mixing it with some shin ramen I'm gonna like mac and cheese okay so we're actually first gonna cook the noodles the pasta whatever that is because they need like seven to eight minutes until they're done now after three and a half minutes we can add the shin ramen after four more minutes you can see that the water basically has completely evaporated and I think that's actually a good base because we don't want it to be soupy we want it to be like cheesy like mac and cheese basically I think I'm just gonna add like half or three quarters of the shin ramen powder because as I'm gonna be adding another powder into it I'm scared that it's gonna be too much or actually let me add everything oh butter and the mac and cheese powder oh god that's a lot that is so much can't even mix it it's so much my god what is this it's done diddly do of course we need some cheese on top because oh my god it actually has the perfect consistency wow i can't lie to you this looks really good mm -hmm. <laughs> jesus christ let's just have a little bite first it's a little dry oh so spicy. Not me seasoning my food with water. <laughs> Let's have a real bite. <laughs> my mouth is on fire. <laughs> this is so much more spicy than shin ramen by itself for some reason. I don't know why. It is a bit much for me. You got me. You got me, gal. The mac and cheese, artificial craft mac and cheese flavor. It is just very strong for some reason. And the shin ramen powder is so spicy and so strong. It's like almost too too much flavor. It's too salty. I think I should have just put half of the shin ramen powder in there and half of the mac and cheese powder in there. And then it would probably be perfect, but I fucked it up a little bit. I see the potential. I just really over exaggerated everything. But I also have to say this is probably my least favorite shin ramen hack that I've ever tried and I tried a couple of them. <laughs> <laughs> to calm down our bellies a little bit, I picked this next recipe. We're gonna make something super simple and I think underrated, which is egg drop soup. I have to say, this is nothing new. This is not like TikTok invented it or made it go viral. I mean, actually, <laughs> TikTok kind of made it go viral. That's how I found it. <laughs> but all I'm saying is that it is actually a super old, basic recipe that doesn't stop me from wanting to try it because it looks really good i love eggs i love how the egg looks in there like the fluffiness and i can't believe i've never tried it because i also feel like this could be something like if you have a little bit of an upset stomach like i do right now then you might want to just sip a little bit of that soup and it's still gonna give you like a lot without having a lot in it you know what i mean so let's make egg drop soup we're just gonna start by cracking the eggs that we want in there or the amount of eggs one and two and let's thin it down with a little bit of water just a little bit next you want to prepare your chicken broth or vegetable broth white pepper a little bit of turmeric for the color I don't know how much. Tiny bit of sugar. I don't know why. In some recipes, I also saw that they added a little bit of MSG. I guess just to enhance the flavor, but don't add too much. A little bit of sesame oil. And now we want to add a little cornstarch slurry, which is just some cornstarch with some water. And that's going to thicken up the soup. Obviously, we don't want it to be super thick, but just a little thicker than water. Okay, and now we can already add the egg, the exciting part. We want to keep it moving and then stir in the egg slowly. Ooh, am I doing this right? I don't know. Anyway, it's 
almost done. Oh, I almost forgot. Also put some spring onion in there. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is my egg drop soup. My egg does not look perfect. I wanted it to be a little more like thick ribbons not so fine i guess i just gotta work on my pouring technique on my stirring technique on all of my techniques oh pleasant mm, relaxing warming my body from the inside the sesame oil in there is so good usually i think sesame oil can be overpowering very quickly and here it is like very strong but it somehow works wow the seasoning is just right i measured it with my eyes and i never try my food in the process of making it because i don't want to spoil the final product i think this might actually be one of my new favorite soups i think also the msg does a lot in there like it just gives it that extra special mm. uh -huh. i mean don't get me wrong i think the soup would also work without the msg but it definitely does something i will definitely make this more often in the cold winter days mm. fucking egg drop soup slay the egg game slay the soup game slay all the games so now that our tummy has calmed down a little bit it's time to fuck it up again and by that i mean spicy noodles again oh my jesus lord <laughs> i finally have a product which i have been looking for for so long and i'm talking about these samyang instant ramen and this is the flavor basil and cream and i think they're actually quite new just really not available in germany i mean you can probably get them in korea like super easily but not here so i really had to dig but i finally have them i'm so happy they probably suffered a lot during traveling you can see it has some dents in there <laughs> i still love you here's what it looks like ignore the dents but this is it i don't know how spicy this is gonna be i mean it's samyang noodles so probably still very spicy even though it says cream i'm hoping that it's gonna be similar to the carbonara noodles spice level wise because i can eat those barely but i can eat those so this is what it looks like on the inside we have this typical spicy sauce this is probably the basil powder you're not supposed to put this in yet first we're gonna pour in some hot water oh my god i almost fucked up making instant ramen i cannot believe this <laughs> It actually says two and a half minutes on 1000 watt. Our microwave has 800 watts, so we're gonna do three minutes, maybe? I don't know. Dinner is done, children. I brought you something. Yay! Hmm, it smells a little bit like basil. And it definitely is turning a little green. I think I need some extra cheese. You can't eat some young noodles without cheese. Wow, it is green. I didn't think it would actually be a little green. Do you see the greeniness? <laughs> I wonder if it will taste a little bit like the basil rose topoki that I've made before at some point in my life. Oh, it looks so good. It doesn't really look green, but you can see the little basil pieces, like the dried pieces in there. <clears throat> oh my god listen it's spicy it's very spicy but what really caught me by surprise is the noodles because they are so chewy and so soft and so thick i did not think those noodles would be so good wow they almost taste like fresh noodles damn this is good and the basil sauce i wouldn't necessarily say it that it tastes like basil it has a little bit of a um, herb feeling to it something is there but don't think like fresh italian basil don't even think that but it's a little bit sweet actually it's a it's a, it's very sweet for a savory sauce which i like it is definitely good but the star of the show are 100 percent the noodles they're so different to the usual samyang noodles usually you have these ramen noodles and these are basically udon noodles i think i wish it would be a little easier to get them because i think i would actually eat those a lot past the vibe check pass everything oh it made me sweat <sighs> la 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 long. now it's time for the real dinner. 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 dinner we definitely didn't eat enough yet so it's time for the final countdown i would say let's make garlic confit creamy alfredo pasta yes you might say i have made alfredo pasta a couple of times on my channel actually it was twice but I've never made a garlic confit alfredo pasta. As you might be able to realize, this looks absolutely insane. <laughs> I think the sauce is literally just garlic. I 
feel like this could be good because I love garlic, but I also feel like it could be gross because it is actually way too much garlic. So first off, of course, we have to make the garlic confit, which basically is just a lot of garlic cloves baked in the oven in oil for a long time. And I also did this before and I remember this being the most horrible job ever to peel every single piece of garlic. <laughs> So I wanted to try some new tricks how to peel the garlic uh, the best way, the fastest way. Basically rip it apart and then you're gonna throw it into some Tupperware and shake it vigorously for 20 seconds. And to be honest this did not really work for me. Some pieces of garlic definitely were a little more naked than before but it didn't didn't really work for me i still had to peel a lot of pieces of garlic so this is not it tell me some tips and tricks if you know how to best peel a lot of garlic pieces <laughs> thanks <laughs> as soon as you got them all peeled you're gonna put them into some kind of pan or pot or whatever you have at hand and you're gonna put some oil in there you can put olive oil but make sure it's extra virgin olive oil so it's suitable for heating it and then you're gonna put it into the oven for two hours 90 degrees celsius so basically you're gonna bake it in there for a long time but on very low setting the garlic should be done by now and let's look at it and let's make this pasta wow look at you guys before we make the sauce, not the garlic back there <laughs> watching me. Before we make the sauce, we're gonna make our pasta, and in this case, fettuccine. Turkey. Pasta is almost done, so let's make the garlic sauce. So for this, I'm just gonna reuse the oil from the garlic confit as my cooking oil. <laughs> I'm gonna get the farties. And if we follow the recipe on TikTok correctly, we're also gonna add some butter. <laughs> And now it's time to smash the garlic into pieces. Salt it a little bit. Now we're gonna add the cream. Mm. <laughs> Looks richtig und wichtig. I can't really tell from the video what kind of spices and herbs they add, but I think it looks like oregano or some kind of Italian herbs. We're just gonna add Italian herbs. And a little bit of veggie bouillon, just to give it a bit more flavor, I guess, because we literally just have garlic in there so far. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure they also add Parmesan. And let's add the pasta. I think I could have <laughs> made a bit more fettuccine. Oh no, I made Alfredo soup. Also add a little bit of pepper. I'm not gonna add grated cheese for once because I wanna make the exact recipe from the video. And I'm not gonna add cheese to everything, okay guys? Finito. Those are my boundaries now. And here it is, our finished garlic confit creamy pasta. It does smell heavenly. It also sounds heavenly. Not me wearing red lipstick. I don't know if I can eat this. I mean, garlic is healthy, right? Do I have any appointments tomorrow? This will probably stay with me for a week. My favorite part is the... <laughs> is my red lipstick on the white noodles. I mean, the thing is, it's not bad, obviously. But the amount of garlic is just so overpowering. I think I could literally just bite into a clove of garlic. We would have the same result. I actually don't hate it when other people smell like garlic. I don't mind. I just don't like it when I smell it or taste it in my mouth or in my body. But I have to say, the more I eat, the more I get used to the garlic. So I could probably finish this. But I would also say one or two, maybe even three of the garlic cloves from my garlic confit might have been enough. I have to say I'm getting used to the garlic flavor. The first bite was really bad. It's kind of good. Well, that was a lot. <laughs> this whole video was a lot, but definitely good. It did exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm very pleasantly surprised by this video. I don't necessarily need this last one, and I definitely fucked up the mac and shin hack. But other than that, everything edible, everything good, everything nice. I'm gonna have to say my favorite is the egg drop soup. Crazy, because it's like the least 
exciting the most basic recipe out of this whole video but it was just so effective and i can't wait to eat it tomorrow the garlic is just coming out of every pore of my body right now <laughs> i'm also sweating so i'm like sweating garlic sweat <laughs> Anyway, that was this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You can always send me food stuff you want me to try. You know that, my loves. Don't forget to check out my Melody Lashes collection. I'm gonna put some links into my description so you can get it. In Germany, we would say, Gönnt euch! Don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on X. Why do they look so seamless with my outfit? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Rote Gewitze.